Hello everyone, welcome back to Simplified Schooling. In today's video, let's have a look on Kharif crops and Rabi crops. So as you all know, India is a vast country where climatic conditions like temperature, humidity and rainfall vary from one region to the another. So due to such variations in temperature, humidity and rainfall, a variety of crops are grown in different parts of the country. But despite of all these diversities, two broad cropping patterns can be identified. And according to these two broad cropping patterns, two main types of crops are cultivated in India and these are Kharif crops and Rabi crops. The words Kharif and Rabi came into existence in India with the rise of the Mughal Empire in the Indian subcontinent and have been widely used since then. Other countries that use the terms Kharif and Rabi to describe their cropping patterns are Pakistan and Bangladesh. So these words have originated from the Arabic language where Kharif means autumn and Rabi means spring. So now let's know in detail that why these crops are called so. First let's have a look on the Kharif crops. So as already mentioned, Kharif means autumn. So Kharif crops are known as autumn crops because these crops are mainly harvested in the autumn season, that is in the month of September or October. These crops are also known as monsoon crops as their seeds are sowed that is planted at the start of the monsoon season and their crops are harvested at the end of the monsoon season. However, the Kharif crop season in India differs from state to state. The general period of cultivation of the Kharif crop is from June to November depending on the area. The sowing season differs according to the arrival of the monsoons in different parts of the country. For example, in southern states like Kerala and Tamil Nadu, seeds are generally planted towards the end of May Whereas in the northern regions like Punjab and Haryana, the seeds are planted around June. So these crops are highly dependent on the rainfall patterns. The amount and timing of rain are the two most important parameters to determine the output of Kharif crop. These crops grow well in rain-fed areas with hot and humid climates. Now let's have a look on the examples of Kharif crops. So the first is paddy which is a rice plant. So when the rice is in unprocessed form along with its outer cover it is known as paddy. Second is maize which is also known as corn. Third is soya bean. Fourth is groundnut which is also known as peanut. And the fifth is cotton. Now let's have a look on the rabi crops. So as already mentioned, the Arabic term Rabi denotes spring. Hence the harvesting time for Rabi crops begin during the spring season. Rabi crops are also known as winter crops because these crops grow during the winter season. These crops are cultivated in winter season and harvested in the spring season. So the seeds of the rabi crops are planted mainly after the monsoon rains are over and harvesting begins in the April or May that is in the spring season. These crops require less water to grow. Therefore, crops are normally grown either with rainwater that has percolated into the ground or by using the irrigation techniques. These crops require a warm climate for sowing and a cool climate for growth. The examples of rabi crops are wheat, gram, pea, mustard and linseed. So this was all about the rabi crops and the kharif crops which are grown in the winter season and monsoon season respectively. But some plants are also grown during the summer seasons and these are pulses and the vegetables which are grown during summer season at many places. Hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions regarding the chapter, then please comment down below. And also like, share and subscribe to the channel Simplified Schooling.